Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey everyone. I consider it an honor to stand before you all. Mm, amen. And to Dr. Joe, my classmates, I'm going to talk about faith. Amen. Um, I can remember back in 2012, uh, my granddaughter had a basketball game. Mm. And my other granddaughter had one, so I was trying to be in two places at one time. And I thank God for just being God. Because um, at that time I was the, over the children church in my, in my church. Mm. Um, and I had all the money, it was around the Christmas time. I had all the money in my billfold to take to the bank, but I hadn't got it to the bank. <laughs> So, Bill Ford was about this small. So when I left one basketball game, I went to the other basketball game. And when I got there, um, one of my kids asked me for something at the uh, professor's stand. So I, I told her, I say, let me get my purse. And I discovered I did not have my purse. Uh oh. So I said, Lord, I got to find my purse. Mm. Because I got all the money now <laughs> that belongs to the children for their Christmas stuff. Mm -hmm. So I began to, to retrace my steps. Mm -hmm. And as I went back to the first school, I looked and I asked people. Nobody had found it. So I went back to the second school and I still looked. Nobody had found it. Mm -hmm. So I said, Lord, now, I don't know where this money is. But you know what this money That's is. That's right. Same as right. And you know I can't replace this money back. So I can't do nothing but find it. So you got to show me where it's at. So I got back in my class. I'm going to go back to the other school. And as I was going back to the other school, the Lord had me to look over at the service station that I had stopped mm. and got mm. gas before I got to the school. Mm. So I got out of the car and I went in and I asked the attendant, had anybody seen a little gray bill photo? She said, no. I said, well, it got to be here. I said, because God has punted me this way, and it has to be here. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, I have all the money in it from the kids. She said, well, I come outside, and I help you look for it. She said, but I'm telling you, we have had so many cars in here mm -hmm. this morning. Yeah. Getting gas, it couldn't possibly be here. Mm. I said, ma'am, the Lord I serve, no, I can't replace this money. It has to be here. So we began to walk around and look around. And as I began to step on the other side of the tanks. And I looked down between all of the gas pump. It had fell down. Oh, and Lord. it was so little that nobody paid any attention mm -hmm. to it. I said, Lord, she <clears throat> said, because she had said, even if you find it, it's not going to be anything in there. I said, ma'am, it's going to be in there <laughs> because God knows right. I can't replace this money. Right. So when I got the pot, I immediately gave it to her. Mm. I immediately let her sing. I unzipped it and let her sing that the money was still there. Mm. And I said, Hallelujah. this is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know who you serve, <laughs> but this is the God that I serve. Because he said he'll never leave me nor forsake me. So mm. I just thank and praise God for mm. delivering me and helping me find that money because I had to have it. Mm. But um, I'm going to be talking about faith this morning. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask y'all a question. What is faith? I looked it up in Webster <laughs> Dictionary. And Webster says it means trust, trust. Mm -hmm. unquestioned belief in God, a peculiar religion, huh? anything you believe, complete trust. You know, y'all, I think Webster was saved. Mm -hmm. For him to write this, I really believe he knew the Lord. Mm -hmm. I think so. I will have to look it up. <laughs> now you turn with me to Hebrew 11 and 1. Mm -hmm. And it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Also, I want you to turn with me to Hebrews 11 and 6. And it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm going to tell you another little story that I had to have faith about. In 2008, I had a two-hour surgery. Me and the Fruit of the Spirit princesses had went to deliver Thanksgiving boxes to our elder people that are sick and shut in. And all that day, I couldn't shake it. I felt some kind of way, but I wasn't hurting anywhere. And it was just something not right. Something mm -hmm. was off. Mm -hmm. So I told them to take me to the hospital. Mm. And when I got there, they did all these tests, and they said um, I had to have my gallbladder re removed. So I said, Lord, if this is what I got to do, this is what I got to do, I'm just going to pray you take me in and take me out. So, a two hours, the day of the surgery, it was supposed to be only two hours. But a two hour surgery turned into eight hours. Lord mm -hmm. have mercy. Now, how many of y'all know that it's good to have people in your life? that have faith mm. and know the word of God and can get a prayer through. Mm. I was told after the surgery that my pastor came up and he really, he really went to war for me. He prayed like he had never prayed before. And he prayed me through. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some people in the Bible that had faith. Because by faith, we all know, believing in God, that the world and the stars, in fact, all things was made by God Amen. when he commanded them. All things was made from things that couldn't be seen. Mm -hmm. By faith, Abel obeyed God mm -hmm. and brought an offering that pleases him. Mm -hmm. More than king offering did. Mm -hmm. And God accepted Abel. And he proved it by accepting his gift. Mm. Now Abel is dead, but we still can learn a lesson from him trusting God. Amen. By faith, Enoch trusted God. That's why God took him away to heaven before mm. without having to die. Mm -hmm. Suddenly he was gone. Mm. God took him before this happened. God had said he was pleased with Enoch. So you know, if he said he was pleased with Enoch before he even took him away, Enoch had to have faith because it's impossible to please God mm. if you don't have faith. Amen. By Noah, Noah was a person that trusted in God, mm -hmm. even though they laughed at him because he was building the ark. Yes. Even though they made fun of him every time he looked around. looked around, But when Noah's heard God warning about the flood, even though he didn't see no sign of rain, even though he didn't know what was going to happen, he still obeyed God. Amen. Now, by faith, Abraham trusted God. Mm -hmm. When God told him to leave his place where she would receive his inheritance, he went, not knowing. Didn't know where he was going to go, where he was going to sleep, what he was going to eat. Mm, but he heard the voice of God, and he obeyed what God told him to do. Amen. He just left. He didn't even look back. He just Amen. went and did what God commanded him to do. Amen. Sarah had faith. Let's talk about Sarah a little bit. <laughs> She had faith because she was in her old age. Mm -hmm. But she believed God when he said he was going to give them a child. Mm. And he had, she had the faith and she conceived. And she had a child. Mm. Let's talk about the children of Israel. When the, um, the charity was behind them, when they was going through. When God parted the Red Sea for them. Even though they looked back and saw Pharaoh's and his army, mm -hmm. they had the faith to know when he parted that sea that they were going to be safe to walk through. Mm -hmm. And when they got there, what I like about Marion, she had a tamarind. She began to praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for getting us through. And 
And as they look back at the, the Pharaoh charity that went underground, under the water, they drowned. Mm -hmm. All of them drowned. That's the kind of God that we serve. All right. Amen. Now, it was faith that brought the walls of Jericho down. All right. As they, as, they, as they walked around them seven days, they brought the walls down. Mm. And because these people that I have talked about, all these people I have talked about, they had faith. Now my question for you all, where is your faith? Mm. Mm. Where is your faith in the midnight hour when your storm comes through? Mm. Where's your faith when you get that call that you don't want to hear? Mm. All right. Where's your faith when the doctor tells you some bad news? Mm. All right. Where's your faith when your husband or your wife tells you they don't want the marriage anyway, mm. anymore? All right. Where's your faith when your son is on a plane or your kids is on the plane and you get a call that it's a plane not fair, do you automatically think it's your child? Mm. Or did you begin to praise God and thank him for knowing that your child is safe? Right. Where is your faith? That's my question. Where is your faith? Amen. Because I had people all around me when I was in the operating room. They tell me there were so many people around outside. And I thank God for these people that was praying and were going to walk for me. Mm. But I want to say this. Ooh, glory to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Even though all those people out there were praying, when it was all over, I knew and I believe that nobody brought me through but God. Amen. Nobody but God. Nobody but God held the surgeon hand and brought me through. Amen. Nobody but God. Mm. And I can glorify him. I can praise him. I can lift my hand and thank him for bringing me through. Because the devil tried to kill me. But God has some more work for me to do. Uh -huh. And I thank uh -huh. him for giving me the chance to come back and do what he called me to do. Because I had said before I got sick, I had said, Lord, I said, I'm tired of doing this ministry by myself. I said, Lord, I am going to sit down. I'm not going to do these kids anymore because I'm tired mm -hmm. of doing it by myself. All right. Lord, if you don't send me no help, I'm not going to do it no more. Mm. I'm telling God what I'm not going to do. <laughs> you hear me? I'm telling him what Joanne not going to do. Dangerous. But when I got back in my hospital room and I laid on that bed, he reminded me, Come me of what I said to him. And I said, God, I lifted up my hand in the bed. Mm. I said, Lord, mm. if you get me up off this bed, Come on. whatever you tell me to do Come with on. these children, mm -hmm. whether, I, whether I got help or whether I don't have any help, right. God, I'm going to do whatever you tell me to do with these mm. kids. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go where you tell me to go. Come on. I'm going to pray when you tell me to pray with them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to <clears throat> preach when you tell me to preach with them. Whatever you tell me to do, God, with these mm -hmm. kids, if you get me up off of this bed and mm -hmm. give me one more chance, mm -hmm. I repent right now, Lord. I repent for Amen. being thankful to you. Hallelujah. I repent for saying those things I wasn't supposed to say. Lord, I repent right now and I ask for your forgiveness, God. Amen. If you just give me one more chance mm -hmm. to serve your children, God, to serve yes, your Lord. youth, God, Use me as your vessel, God, to do whatever you want me to do with your children, oh, God. Yes, God, just give me another hey, chance. That's hey. all I ask you to do for mm. one more chance, God, mm. to do what you ask me to do, God. And I tell you, God, answer my prayer. Because when he got me up off of that bed, I went to my pastor and I told him that I wanted to do the children again. Just give me another chance, will mm -hmm. And when the God gave me the fruit of the Spirit, Princess, I told him, Lord, whatever you want me to do with these girls, right. I do what you ask me to do, God. I be faithful to your will, God. I be faithful to your calling, God. Mm -hmm. God, just let me know what you want me to do yes. with Amen. these children, Amen. God. <laughs> And I'm going to obey you, your will, God. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, I just thank you for that other chance on today, God. Yes. I just thank you, Lord. But yes. you know, when God come, Satan always try to come behind. Even though he don't have no power. 
Because 10 days later, after I got home, I stayed in the hospital. I got home 10 days later. My God. I had another test. <laughs> another test. Oh, Lord. I got a bill from the hospital. Hello. And the bill was $53,000. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Look at me now. Do I look like I got $53,000? <laughs> I said, come on, God. Come on now. You not brought me through the surgery. Now, I got a bill for $53,000. Mm, all right. But see now, it got to come a time in your life where you got to know what you know and know who you know. Because mm. see, I was not going to let this bill shake who I knew because I knew God. Amen. And God has all power mm -hmm. in Amen. heaven and in earth. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God. Hallelujah. Absolutely nothing is too hard for God. Amen. As I looked at the bill, I began to talk to God. Mm -hmm. And I said, God, now you know I don't have this kind of money, mm -hmm. but I know that you do. So I said, Lord, I'm going to give this bill to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you say in your words, cast all my cares mm -hmm. upon you. So I'm casting this bill mm -hmm. upon you. Mm -hmm. Lord, this is your bill. Mm -hmm. As I put it, I looked in my nightstand. I pulled out my nightstand drawer. And I put it in the drawer. Mm -hmm. And as I put it in the drawer, I began to praise God and thank him. Because I said, Lord, this is your bill. And I thank you for paying it. Because I can't pay it. So that means you're going to have to pay it. Because your word can't come back, Lord. And mm -hmm. your words say, we have not because we ask not. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I'm asking you in your son Jesus' name to do this for me. Mm. So, as I begin to just continue to praise God and to thank him for, for paying the bill for me. And I knew that he was going to do it because he said in his words, look to the hill mm -hmm. where well, all your help come from. Yeah, yeah. He didn't say some of it. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, look, all you got to do is look to the hill where all your help come from. And I know all my help come from the Lord. Amen. So, Lord, I said, this is your bill. I have given it to you, and I believe that you're going to be a God that's going to answer this prayer. Amen. Now, how many of y'all know that God can do something in the twinkle of an eye? Amen. He can make the foolish thing wise. Mm -hmm. Because see, some people might look at it, it's been foolish for me to ask God to pay this bill. Mm -hmm. In their eyesight. But see, I know he's all wise. I know he's a way maker. Mm -hmm. I know he can do everything. I know that. Mm -hmm. I trust that. My faith is with him. Amen. I know he can show up. I know he can show up at the right time. Mm. Sometimes we think that God ain't going to never come. <laughs> Lord, where you at, Jesus? Yeah. Where you at? Lord, this lady now called me about this bill, mm -hmm. and I done prayed, and I done believed that you're going to pay it for me. Lord, where are you mm. at? All right. You know, you're the slowest man I know. <laughs> <laughs> to be red on time. <laughs> So, Lord, I just want to believe you. I'm going to go to bed tonight and I believe it's already been taken care of. Mm -hmm. So, as I went to sleep and then I woke up, I got a phone call. Mm -hmm. Glory right. to God. All right. And it was a lady from the hospital. Mm -hmm. All right. She said, is this Miss Lawrence? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, Miss Lawrence, I'm calling you about your hospital bill. And as she was calling me, I was saying in my mind, Lord, I thank you for paying it. God, I glorify you for paying it. Mm -hmm. I just lift you up right now for paying this bill, God. Amen. And as I began, she began to talk to me. And she said, Miss Lawrence, I just want you to know a private company, hmm. a private company paid. She didn't say half of it. She didn't say one third of it. Hmm. She didn't say 
one fourth of it. She said a private company paid your entire hospital bill. Amen. Right. Glory. All right. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. See, that's what I love about the Lord. Mm -hmm. He don't have to do anything. Amen. When he does something, he does it all the way. Mm. He paid the entire bill. Now, who wants to serve a God like that? Mm. Who wants to serve a God like that? Amen. That keep his word, yes, keep Lord. his promise. Yes. He's just waiting on your faith. Because yes. that's how he moved by our faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I just thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I began to praise and thank God with the lady on the phone. Amen. Because I wanted her to know I appreciated what God had done for me. Amen. And I know mm -hmm. that what I love about God is he don't have to do anything. He does it. Oh, he paid your entirely bill. Yeah. So I say to you again, it is impossible to please God with that faith. So mm. whatever you do, I don't care how it look. I don't care what it costs. I don't care what they say. You keep your faith because God is going to keep his promise. Amen. He's going to keep Amen. his words. So I say unto you, keep your faith. Mm. Keep your faith. Mm, yes. Keep your faith. Yes, Lord. And God bless each and every one of you. Mm, amen. 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 amen.